Hello everybody, welcome to my first Linux tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods onto Beat Saber within Linux. So the first thing we're going to need to do is you're going to most likely need to downgrade your Beat Saber version. Now this might not necessarily be the case, but for me it is. The latest version 117.1 is not compatible with mods, so I have to downgrade it to 116.3. So let's show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need to install .NET. Now this link will be in the description. All of these links will be in the description. Assuming you're on Debian like I am or you're on Ubuntu specifically, you can type these commands in to install .NET. Now I've already installed .NET, so I'm not going to do this. You, you type these commands in, then you type these commands in. This will install .NET. If you want to make sure that you have it installed, you can go ahead and open a terminal, type .NET, Dot not dot not dot net and this will show you you can also do dot net dot info and that'll show you the version you have and whether you're on like ubuntu or ubuntu or zubuntu or arc or manjaro um and then the next thing we're going to need to grab is depot downloader now this will basically allow us to download the old version of beat saber so i've already downloaded this you can go ahead and click the zip file i'm just going to go ahead and go over here uh, right over here and I go into the downloads and here you go you have this downloaded now we don't actually need to do anything with the file we need to go into it into a terminal and I already have the command loaded up here I'm just gonna backslash to it this command and all the commands will be in the description so what we'll need here is we're gonna need to type in .NET downloader.dll app this number here depot this number here manifest in this case the manifest may be different if you go into this Steam guide, I will have this link in the description as well. Um, this Steam guide will show you the manifest is basically just the ID for the version. So if in the future you wanted to install 117.1, this is the manifest ID you would need. The only thing you would need to change besides obviously your username being your username and not my username is this number right here. Everything else stays exactly the same. So. This is the only thing you need to change. And then once you do this, it'll ask you to uh, input your password. If you have Steam Guard, input that. You need to go to your email, grab the code, and put it in. And then it'll go ahead and download the old version of Beat Saber. So to find this, you're going to go ahead and go wherever you've downloaded Depot Downloader. Go into Depots. Click this right here. Click this. And this is the old version of Beat Saber. You can check by going into this, and you can see the text over the white it's kind of hard to see um we're gonna go ahead and copy these files and we're going to go to our beat saber installation now an easy way to get here go to library uh, actually i think in this case this folder is outdated because i reinstalled beat saber um go to your library go to beat saber right click manage browse local files and here you go you are now in your beat saber installation you can go ahead and copy uh paste everything in here uh, click apply this action to all folders, click merge, then click replace, apply all, and it'll go ahead and show you that it's doing all of this stuff. And once this is done, we're going to go ahead and launch the game just to check that we're on the right version. Because if we're not, everything else here, not really going to work very much. Now we can look down at our feet and we can see that we are indeed on 116.3. So you can go ahead and exit Steam VR. I'll click OK. Now we can continue on with the rest of the installation. So going from here, we're going to need to download Beataroni. This is essentially a Linux alternative to Mod Assist, and it works the same way. It's just a little bit less pretty. So we'll go ahead and grab the .tar. I've already done this, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads, go into Beataroni. And you'll find this file here. So in order to launch this, we're going to go to a command prompt. We're going to, well, actually, we're going to right-click, open in terminal. So in order to open this, we're going to do sh beat aroni dash linux dot sh. This will go ahead and open the file. Make sure you've opened the terminal from here. You could also cd from here if you wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and select the Linux version, um, the Beat Saber version that we installed. Now, here you need to be very particular about getting this installation path right or else it just doesn't seem to work. So the way I went about making sure that this was correct by going into 
the local files as we did before. Then uh, I'm going to move this on my second monitor really quick. Um, going back to Beataroni, opening this up. Now, the easiest way I found, whoop, wrong window, was to grab this, was to go into properties, go into basic, move this over, go ahead and copy this entire folder right here. And then add a slash and type beat saber. And the continue button should hopefully light up. I don't know why, but just typing it in manually, and if you try to use the tilde key, like this, for example, it doesn't like that. This is a known issue with the developer. They're just very busy and have yet to fix it. So you're going to have to type it in exactly as I did. So it's home, your username, dot steam, slash Debian installation. If you're on Debian, I don't know what it would be like on other distributions. So I'm assuming it would probably be like if it's on Manjaro, it would be Manjaro installation, but I'm not sure. So if you know in the comments and you want to help somebody out, Maybe leave it in the comments if you figured it out. And then it's slash Steam Apps. Well, you can see it over here, slash common, slash Beat Saber. Then we can go ahead and click continue. So um, you can really select whatever mods you want in here. Uh, everything that you need that you need is already installed. Uh, I would recommend grabbing, I think, uh, what else is in here? Beat Saber Voting uh, is a good one to have. Beat Saber, Beat Saber Downloader, Beat Saber Playlist. I think these might be selected automatically, but they might not be. I'm not sure. Um, and I think that's really all you need. Everything you absolutely need is already pre-installed. Um, so then you can go ahead and click Continue. It'll install everything for you. And it says Success, Setup Completed. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to boot up the game, see if my mod's installed, and I'll see you if uh, they worked. And if not, well, I don't know. Anyways, we'll be right back. So it's time for the moment of truth. We are in VR, although I'm not actually in VR. I'm just holding the headset up. If I can, if I can track my controller, please. There we go. Click launch. So if we look to our feet down here, we can again see we're on 116.3. Then if we go ahead and we select continue, press continue again. And if we look to our left, we should see more songs, refresh playlists, more playlists. Now, if you have a Windows installation you're moving from, you can actually grab the custom levels folder and move it over here. It's actually very easy to grab all of your files from Beat Saber. If you are maybe moving from Windows, you can actually grab your custom levels folder and you can just kind of move it over. Um, and actually, uh, a good tip here is if you are moving from Windows, you can, uh, for example, go to other locations, go to your installation. For me, it's over here. I can go into the program files or no. For me, it's Steam Arunsky. I made a quirky name for my folder because I'm weird. Normally, it would be in program files. But anyway, I'm going to go here. Uh, Steam apps, common, Beat Saber. You can actually just grab this custom level folder. So right now, I'm in my Windows installation. But let's say I was moving from Windows to Linux and I wanted to move my custom songs. You can actually grab this right here. You can also grab this. In fact, if you wanted to, you could grab this and this and you can transfer it over and it should work. Um, I would make sure you keep a backup just in case it corrupts something somehow and I'm a liar. Um, but you should be okay to just move this over. This basically has all of your custom songs in it. So like the song from Love is War or the, I don't know what this is, <laughs> or uh, Danger Zone or whatever song you want. So all your songs will be stored in here. You can actually just go ahead and move these over. So if you have a Windows installation with all your mods already loaded, don't worry. You don't actually have to reinstall those mods. In fact, I would highly recommend you back up your custom levels folder somewhere else. That way you can easily transfer it over. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped. I hope this works for you in the future. Again, you may not have to downgrade your version. Um, who knows? Maybe there will be support for the latest version for mods within a few days after releasing this. But if there's not, check what the latest version is that mods support. Um, and then you can simply not have to worry about it. In my case, I had to downgrade. In your case, you might not have to. It depends. Um, anyways, guys, I hope this helped. If you have any... So uh, this is one awkward way to end off a video. So uh, 
for some reason, Caden Live just cut off the rest of the clip. Uh, so instead of re-editing it all, I'm just adding on to the end. Uh, I didn't really know what to put in as the end of the clip. I guess I could have put in Beat Saber gameplay, but I decided, why not? My index is right next to me. I'll just turn on the camera and talk to it. So that's why you're seeing the weird double lens effect. But anyways, if you guys like this video, uh, leave a like. Subscribe, maybe I'll do more Linux tutorials in the future. Probably not really. I'm not a Linux expert. I just kind of figured this one out. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. I'm not really sure like which lens to look at because there's two, and I realize that technically I'm only looking at one at a time. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.